Well, I think that it's important that you keep the big picture in the long term in perspective when thinking about that question. Because on the one hand, the change in rhetoric and the change in posture is in and of itself damaging and frankly embarrassing for those who operate internationally and have to deal with the realities of climate change in their businesses or in their operations. On the other hand, the power sector continues to move toward lower emission sources of energy. People, uh, businesses, innovators in the United States continue to move toward making um, uh, more fuel efficient vehicles. The energy efficiency business in the United States is booming. More than 2 million people employed in that industry. And those trends are pretty well established within the fabric of our economy. The market is driving them forward. So the, the, the new administration has done very little to affect those plans. And I anticipate that they will have significantly less impact on those market trends than some of the more dire predictions suggest. Look, as a citizen and as a father, it's clearly very frustrating. But the effort that we undertook in the Obama administration was never about a single person uh, or a team or a president. Uh, it was about trying to reorient this country to address one of the most significant threats of our time and also harness one of the biggest opportunities of our time. So at the end of the day, uh, the real issue is the lost opportunities for the country. Now, I will say that having had the privilege of working with dedicated career public servants uh, in agencies across the government for several years, I uh, take quite a bit of uh, personal offense and find quite frustrating the cavalier attitude toward the contributions that they have to make and the um, extraordinary uh, work and body of work and, and body of knowledge that exists within the, uh, the federal government. But at the end of the day, um, the real opportunity here is for the American economy uh, and the real stakes and the real costs are for the people of the country. Look, uh, I didn't get into talking about my, my individual back and forth with the president when I was there working for him, then I'll keep that as a, one of my, one of my, uh, uh, one of my uh, rules going forward. Uh, but look, I think that uh, anyone who cares about this issue, uh, anyone who cares about the country and the trajectory of the country can't look at what's uh, happening and be anything other than uh, alarmed, alarmed by the posture, alarmed by the rhetoric. But I also think it is very important for those people who care uh, about the United States continuing to make progress on climate change, that they keep the big picture in perspective and be able to weed out the things that matter, the impacts uh, that will actually make a difference versus the rhetoric, uh, the signal versus the noise. Well, you know, it's a, something that I think it's very difficult for people outside the United States to understand, in large part because this is a debate that the rest of the world has moved on from. One of the things that was most striking to me about being in the middle of international negotiations on climate was that we had very diff difficult negotiations over a variety of different issues, uh, relative contributions of countries, financing, and who's going to pay. But the one thing we never debated with conservative governments from other countries or otherwise were the basic set of facts about what was happening to the climate uh, and humans' role uh, in uh, that trajectory. Within the United States, it, there is one segment within one political party that has a vested financial interest in continuing to uh, push that debate into the mainstream. The good news is that uh, increasingly there are parts of the Republican Party as well as the middle of the political spectrum of the Democratic Party of the United States that realize that they can't afford to continue to foment climate denial. The challenge is that uh, as climate denial becomes increasingly out of, out of fashion, there is a new breed uh, that says, well, maybe climate change is happening, but there's nothing we can do about it. And in some ways, that's just as dangerous. 
and so this is a political project that is an undone project in the united states and does put us in a different place than other countries around the world but i think my message to those people outside the united states is it's important also for them to keep the bigger picture in perspective for them to realize that states representing half of the population and more than sixty percent of the electorate in the last election are led by governors who are doing everything they can on a daily basis to try to move the ball forward to address climate change and that the business community in the united states has for the most part moved aggressively into the posture that it's in the united states interest to try to compete and win for the new clean energy jobs of the future so it's important outside the united states as well as inside the united states that people keep their eye on that bigger picture